What up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be doing a little food review for California Pizza Kitchen, aka CPK. Never had it before. I have no expectations because, you know, California, they're not really known for their pizza. They, they ain't really on the pizza game like that. I think they got bogus water. I, that's what I heard. They, they're dough. They just can't. I don't know. I do respect their tomato game, though, because one of my favorite pizza places of all time, Lou Malnati's, they get their their tomatoes straight from California farms. So, um, yeah, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I got a couple pizzas here. And uh, let's see what we got. Let's start with this one. Okay. That's looking pretty interesting. This is a thin crust barbecue chicken pizza. And uh, big pieces of chicken, super thin crust. That's like looking like a little tortilla. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's looking crazy. That's looking real crazy. Now over here, we got a margarita. Oh, damn, that's that's bogus. That really bites. This one is the original crust, although I think they messed up my order. I ordered this one for the original crust, and this one looks the exact same. This looks like thin crust right here, which that's that's... Minus points already. Maybe it is on the delivery service, but that's sticking me off already. I was trying to get two different kinds of crusts here, but it is what it is. It's smelling good, I'll tell you that much. I'm not a huge fan of, of uh, barbecue chicken pizza. And when I say I'm not a huge fan, it means literally I'm not a huge fan. It doesn't mean I don't like it. It means like, I'm not a fanatic of it. I would start gobble this up if this was around at like a, at a party or something. And uh, and if it was free, you know, but I. I usually don't, I would never pay my own money for barbecue chicken pizza. Barbecue chicken itself, yeah, but on a pizza, no, nah, I'm gonna go for something more tradish. This came out to 33 bucks. Uh, I think this one was like probably 17, 16, something like that. So, not too bad of a price. Let's just get into it. I don't know if I need to say anything else, but I'll tell you what, this is thin. Look at that. A little zoom in on that. I mean, that's like wafer thin, that's paper thin. Red onions, you got the cilantro, you got that grilled chicken. I see that those grill marks on it. Barbecue sauce, I heard it has Gouda cheese on it. And here's the bottom. It's looking good. Let's go in for a bite. Wow. That's not a good wow. That's not a good wow. That's a... How can you make a crust this thin be so dense? Wow. They specifically called this uh, thin and crispy. It's thin, but there ain't no crisp on this. More like thin and, and doughy, thin and chewy, thin and dense. You might be saying, oh yeah, it might have suffered with the, the delivery, but uh, nah. Well, maybe it, maybe it did, but I've had thin and crispy pizzas delivered to me, and they came real crispy. This is hard to eat. Flavor is good though, I will give it that. Now let's get into this margarita. Here's the margarita, here's the bottom. Pretty, pretty much the same. Good char to it. Oh. 
Okay. This is more respectable. I can taste the the mats, uh, the olive oil. The sauce is good. I do like the sauce. I wanted the original crust on this one, so that's real disappointing, but again, the flavor is good. This one isn't as dense. I'm not sure why. Yeah, this one is definitely like a better mouthfeel. And if I could get just one pizza again, I would definitely get this one. So I'm leaning toward this one. But for the price, like I, like I'll take it right now. A spoiler, spoiler alert. I probably wouldn't never order this again. I am curious about that original crust though. But I'm gonna have to take a couple more bites. Maybe if I fold this in half, I can get more of that that doughy feel. The underbelly here is beautiful, I will give it that. I really like, it's one of the best looking underbellies I've seen in a while. Mm. I feel like this basil was like ripped and not cut, which is, I give a couple points for that. Couple decimal points. Let me try that with this one right here. That's a crazy difference, I'll tell you. The dough on this is way better. Also, if you're, I, I forgot to mention, if you are wondering why I, I picked these two, I think this is like a one of the representative pizzas the barbecue chicken every time you google it this is what pops up i know you can't really review a whole restaurant based on like two pizzas but uh over here in korea they only have eight options there's only eight topping options i think it's a little bit bigger over in uh in america They didn't have pepperoni, or else I would have probably got that. I just picked what I thought, two pieces that I thought would represent the restaurant. This is gonna be a tough one though. You know, I don't really do reviews that much. I don't usually give scores that much. Don't really consider myself like an overall food expert. But I do consider myself a pizza expert. I, mean, I, I eat pizza like five times a week. Just kidding. I think I'm gonna have to do the ultimate maniac move and uh, combine these two pieces for the final part of this review. I'm gonna have to give it a high, like a, so my, my, my grading scale is basically like the school, you know, American education grading scale.
the flavor was really good. The texture was was too chewy, too too dense. I'm gonna have to give that like a seven point seven point seven. So in my book, that's like a high C, which, I mean, when I was a kid, that was an average. I think, I feel like these days, like a C is a, it's a bad grade, but 7.7, that's what I call it. Uh, maybe that was a little bit high, but it was good. Like I, I maxed those two pizzas. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to y'all, but if you like what I described, like a thin and, and dense pizza, then yeah, it might be for you. So to each their own. California, you're still, I mean, you, you ain't really on it, man. When it comes to pizza, I'll tell you that much right now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.